classroom here is going to be the electronic research lab. Uh, so as you can see, we've got a um, very large uh, space here. We have a lot of good natural light um, here off Grand Street. And this window here too is kind of cool um, because it kind of um, highlights the, the sycamore tree outside. Um, so that window um, spans the entire um, facade from first floor um, all the way through fifth floor. So you can kind of see Kanoi there in the background as well. Yeah, so this is uh, the foundation control lab. As uh, you can see, it's uh, very open. Uh, good natural light here on the end as well. And um, we'll have some glass here off the corridors that can kind of highlight their, um, what they're doing here in the classroom. But um, you can see it's going to have uh, great amenities with equipment, uh, ceiling service panels. Uh, so this will be a good uh, upgrade for the students. So this is Intelligent Process Lab, and then you have the Intelligent Learning Factory and this big open space. So um, from what I understand, this is going to be one of the big uh, showcase labs. It's going to have a lot of equipment in it. Um, so I know the faculty and staff are super excited about what they're going to have with this, with this lab space. Definitely a huge upgrade. A lot of these guys are coming from MGL, which is very old. Um, and dark, and so we'll have um, good natural light here, good facilities, great open floor for their equipment. And this is a senior capstone lab, so you got senior capstone lab one, a senior capstone lab two. Um, you guys can see the uh, beginning here, so this will have an operable partition, so it just gives the uh, faculty and staff to have a lot more flexibility with this space so they can open this up and make it one big large classroom. They can keep it separate uh, for, for different labs or whatever um, their purpose for the um, actual teaching that day. As you can see, you have nice uh, natural light coming through here and just the amount of square footage, right? So this is a great um, upgrade. This is going to be the electronic research lab. A pretty decent size uh, lab here. This is going to be the wood fabrication lab. Um, as you can see, this is a pretty large space. You have the concrete mixture unit, the CNU walls here, and just to help with noise uh, for the space. We're on the, the north end of Purdue Gateway Project uh, near the electrical engineering uh, building. So, so this is the uh, wet industrial uh, research lab. One of the things I really enjoy about construction is just visually seeing the progress and the hard work that the trades guys and the, the management do for the success of the project. So, and you get to see a lot of cool things, right? So um, different levels are at different stages of construction. Uh, you're not um, doing the same thing every single day. Once again, we're on the we're on the cantilevered part of the project <clears throat> here on the, the southwest corner of Purdue Gateway. Um, so you can see the bell tower in the background. This is going to be the electrical engineering technology projects lab. Uh, it's a very large uh, space that they're making here. Uh, this location on this floor that we can use here is awesome. So this will be another little lounge area. A lot of these next several labs as we go down here are the electronics lab. Um, so this one is an electronics lab here. Uh, this is an audio uh, lab back here. And then we have another electronics lab next door as well. Um, so you have electronics lab, um, a medtronics lab, and then a fat lab um, here. The powertrain lab, also known as the engines lab, I believe. And so you have your your two ton crane here, which is really cool. Uh, you'll have an inertia base here, so when they set their their engines, they work on those. It absorbs a lot of the vibration. Um, this will get a hard lid ceiling in here, so everything below the hard lid ceiling is explosion proof. Um, and they do have some special exhaust system in here, um, just for the lab. 
the next room over is associated with this lot as well. So you got your, your fire rated glass here and then they can use this as a learning opportunity while people are working in the lab and they can have a classroom side on the other, on the other side of the wall here. This is a, kind of the industrial feel, if you will. Um, so we have a lot of exposed concrete, so we got the polished concrete walls, we got the exposed um, CMU walls here. Um, this will get a drop in ceiling, um, but this will be um, the learning side of the engines lab, so this is where they'll do the actual classroom work. So this is the um, entry to the foundry, and then behind you here is where we'll have an areaway, and so this will have an overhead door. Um, so as they get um, deliveries or equipment for the castings lab, if it doesn't fit in the freight elevator, they can crane it down um, through the areaway. So um, let's go into the foundry here. This is the main uh, foundry castings lab. Um, so they'll have um, huge equipment in here. You can see how um, open this space is, industrial feel. We will have the foundry pit here and then the trench uh, goes behind me, so this is where the pit will be. You have the machining and fabrication portion of the casting lab down there, and then you have the casting support um, for the actual lab is, is here, um, adjacent to the lab space. They put a lot of time um, into this lab, I know. 